A very warm welcome to the webinar Detecting and Preventing Wear in Servo Hydraulics, live from our academy here in Nuremberg. My name is Matthias Beetz. I'm the training manager of the Baumüller Academy and will guide you through this live webinar together with Philipp Gebhardt. Philipp is one of our experts for servo hydraulic drive solutions. Good morning, Matthias. And also from my side, a warm welcome to all of you. Before we start our webinar, I would like to inform you that you are muted during the webinar. However, you will still be able to ask us questions at any time during the webinar using the chat function. The chat button is in the bottom right corner. The questions asked in the chat will then be answered in a question and answer session at the end of the presentation. We have planned round about 10 minutes for this. We will record the webinar and the link to the recording will be sent to you by email. A few words about Baumüller. Baumüller is a global family owned company with more than 90 years of experience in its core business of drive and automation systems used in many industries. We have a large portfolio of synchronous motors, servo controllers, PLCs and HMIs for servo hydraulics. The power range for the servo hydraulic is from 300 watt up to 300 kilowatt. We offer different cooling concepts for the motors and servo controllers. In addition, we offer drive internal servo hydraulic software packages for our servo controllers. Through years of intensive cooperation with many machine builders, Baumüller supplies innovative and optimized drive solutions from many industries. One of our drive solutions is servo hydraulics. But what means servo hydraulics exactly? In professional circles, the terms that appear in relation to servo hydraulics are somewhat unclearly defined. We at Baumüller speak of a servo hydraulic drive system or servo hydraulics for short. Every time if a hydraulic pump with constant displacement volume is driven by a speed controlled motor, for example, a servo motor. We occasionally speak of a servo pump, which means the same. In classic hydraulic machines, the pumps are driven by uncontrolled standard motors. This has many disadvantages. The worst of which is the energy vestige. The motor simply always turns with constant speed, even in phases in which the machine does not need any hydraulic power. With servo hydraulics, we combine the advantages of hydraulic power transmission with the advantages of electric servo drive technology. In a servo hydraulic system, we simply replace the uncontrolled motor with a speed controlled motor. An inverter then adjusts the speed of the motor so that energy is only used if the machine requires hydraulic power. The most advantage of the servo hydraulics is its energy efficiency. The high energy efficiency is achieved on the one hand by controlling the speed and on the other hand by the high efficiency of the combination of constant pump and synchronous motor. Furthermore, the system is more compact than the classic drive system. The pumps used now are smaller and have the same output. When it comes to compactness, the motor water cooling and the direct attachment of the motor on the pump are also decisive. The machine installation area can therefore often also be reduced significantly. Since the motor and pump do not turn constantly at maximum speed, the noise emissions also reduce significantly. The workers in the production department are therefore also pleased. Now let's move on to today's topic. Baumüller drives offer a wide range of software functions for servo hydraulic applications. In addition to intelligent control for pressure and volume flow, the drives of the BMAX servo controller family future automated determination of pump, leakage, and sensor drift. These allow conclusions to be drawn about the wear condition of the components and pump protection functions to be parameterized. 
somewhere can thus be prevented in the long term. Here you can see a test bench of a servo hydraulic application, such as we have typically in an injection molding machine. The test bench consists of the servo motor, an internal gear pump, and the hydraulic cylinder here mounted in the foreground. In addition, we have a visualization of a 3D model. Philip, can you tell me why we need this visualization? Yes, the visualization is included in our commissioning software ProDrive and can be used to visualize hidden machine movements based on the actual drive parameters. It can be used in every machine which is equipped with our drives. In this example, we visualize the closing mold of an injection molding machine, which is a typical application um, of our servo um, pump controller software. Okay, I understand. This sounds very coherent and it's therefore very helpful for the machine user. Yes, you're right. And which pumps does Baumüller recommend for servo hydraulic applications? We usually recommend the use of internal gear pumps because in addition to their simple design, these feature a low moment of inertia, a high efficiency, a low noise, and a low pressure pulsation. By using special pump series, which are optimized for variable speed operation, these are ideally suited to be driven by servo motors. And why is it important to worry about wear and tear? Signs of wear occur in nearly every system over the time. But Normally, this happens so slowly that it's hardly noticed in the ordinary operation range, as shown here in the blue curve. However, influencing factors such as incorrect operations or overloads can greatly accelerate the wear process, as shown in the red curve here. In this case, it is very important to detect the wear as early as possible and to arrange a replacement of the affected components before a breakdown happens so that an unplanned expensive machine downtime can be avoided. For this, we support the machine builders here on the one hand with, its, with our um, drive integrated monitoring functions, which can be detect signs of wear on the pump and on the pressure sensor. And on the other hand, with pump protection functions that can prevent thermal overloadings or incorrect operation, for example, during the commissioning process so that the wear itself can be prevented and an expensive pump damage, as shown here in the picture, can be avoided. And what signs of wear can Baumüller drives detect in a servo hydraulic application? There are, of course, different types of wear in servo hydraulics. Um, at the hydraulic pump, for example, we can so far detect all wear conditions which are associated with a change in the pump leakage. And on the pressure sensor, we can detect the aging of the sensor by the increasing sensor drift. And what exactly is meant by pump leakage? Pump leakage is basically a small leak inside a pump. It is also known as pump slip speed or the volumetric losses of the pump. Um, the leak is present in every pump, but its amount is varying from one pump type to another. It leads to the fact that at a higher pressure, a part of the delivered volume flow flows back through the pump itself and thus um, reduces the efficiency of the pump. And what exactly is meant by sensor drift? The sensor drift is simply an offset in the sensor signal that grows with the age of the sensor and thus creates more and more inaccuracy um, in the pressure measurement over the time. How can pump leakage be used to monitor pump wear? Um, our drives can determine, therefore, uh, uh, the leakage parameters by using an automated identification routine. And by regularly executing this identification routine, changes in the leakage can be detected and monitored. And if the leakage has increased significantly since the last identification, um, which means basically that the volumetric efficiency of the pump has fallen. A warning is generated by the drive, which draws attention to the sign of wear. 
And what does this look like with the pressure sensor? This is very similar for the pressure sensor. Here also, we can monitor the sensor drift by means of an identification routine. And if a limit value is exceeded, um, we can detect the wear by means of a warning message. In addition to this, the sensor drift is automatically compensated inside the drive. In this way, the measurement error of all the sensors is compensated and damage due to an incorrect actual pressure value is avoided. This extends the service life of the sensors and reduces um, the service effort in the field. Of course, we can also simply look at the pressure sensor offset um, over the time. By the way, let's assume you are a machine operator, Matthias. What would you require in order to be um, informed quickly and precisely about the current machine status? Well, I would like to be able to see the machine data via a remote maintenance tool to be informed in real time about various conditions and the utilization of the machine so that I can appropriate, uh, so that so, so, so set I can take appropriate precautions if necessary. And that's exactly what we can do with our new IoT interfaces. Is there a possibility to use a determined characteristic codes in a dashboard or similar IoT applications, for example? Yes. Through our new controller platform, PLC IoT, we can connect our BMX controllers to the um, to IoT applications like shown here in the dashboard. Here in front, you can see um, a sample of our new controller platform. And this device enables our BMX drives um, to be used in such applications. Thanks to this interface, we can um, look at this dashboard and have access to data such as the motor temperature, the oil temperature, the motor speed, the pump pressure, the load of the motor and the pump load. And also we have an overview about the current electric power of the system. If a network connection is available, this data can be used online also and can be stored in a cloud, for example. So afterwards in the machine, this values that are displayed here will always correspond to the current drive parameters. Detecting wear is one thing, but how can wear be prevented before it occurs? That's a good point. Um, as already mentioned, rapid pump wear is usually due to an incorrect operation condition or an overloading of the pump. In order to avoid such operation conditions, our drives offer protective functions that generate errors of warning in critical operational conditions or even optimize the set value specifications. Do I understand it, this correctly? The protection functions are implemented directly in the drive also? Yes, exactly. In our drives, there are on the one hand funks, uh, functions that detect error conditions and then switch off the pump to protect the hydraulic system. And on the other hand, there are functionalities that avoid the critical operation conditions in the machine by automatically adjusting the operation point to the pump specifications. And which errors can be detected by the drive software? There are different kinds of functionalities for that. There is, for example, um, a pump protection against the pump running dry. Um, it basically detects a missing rising edge in the pressure sensor signal when the pump is starting. On the other hand, there is um, a drive functionality that automatically detects a missing pressure, sense, uh, pre pressure sensor signal um, due to a broken wire, for example. And how can the drive avoid critical operation states in the machine? There are also different um, functionalities for that. One is um, the acceleration limit, which protects the pump from very fast speed changes by automatically flattening the speed set curve before it is transferred to the speed controller. This reduces the wear um, of the pump and thus 
um, extends the service life in the long run. On the other hand, there is an idle functionality which optimizes the set values during break times for a pressureless oil circulation. So a frequently starting and stopping of the pump um, will be avoided. As shown here in the friction curve on the right side, this avoids the critical boundary friction at low speeds during the start of, of the pump. And in this way, reduces the wear also in the long run. We talked about the pump leakage before. Is it used in protection functions at all? Yes, um, this is um, the, the identification of the leakage parameter. It's a requirement for our thermal pump protection. It is calculating the thermal load of the pump by supplying a simulation model with the actual drive values. And if a pump load is getting in a critical range, for example, during long pressure holding periods, it can open a bypass valve automatically. And this bypass um, is a small connection from the pressure side of the pump directly to the oil tank. And so um, to generate the same pressure, now a higher flow rate of the pump is necessary. This leads to a better cooling of the pump because more oil runs through it. So the thermal load of the pump can be regulated by moving the operation point out of the critical operation area at low speeds into the continuous operation area at higher speeds. This means we accept, uh, accept a little more hydraulic losses, of course, but take advantages of a longer pressure holding time and a reduced thermal load of the pump. And what about the commissioning effort? Do I need special knowledge? No, um, only pressure and volume set values must be specified by the machine control. For this, our drives can be integrated quickly and easily into many different build bus systems. Furthermore, this servo hydraulic functionalities are completely integrated in the Baumwolle software tools, such as ProDrive or ProSimulation, to reduce the commissioning effort by a lot. And what does it mean exactly? Um, this starts by um, a guided commissioning, especially for servo pumps. And here the user is guided by a wizard step by step through all basic functions, such as the setting of the control against, for example, as shown here with the sliding bar. And what about detail settings? Um, due to our servo pump controller model is also included in our um, simulation tool pro simulation. Um, this makes it very easy to enter detail settings. Changes to the drive parameters can first be tested offline in the simulation on the digital twin um, before they are implemented afterwards in the real machine. Until now, these were all drive functionalities. Are there special hydraulic features for the servo motors also? Yes, for our servo motors, um, we offer a direct mounting of the pump at the motor shaft. Here, classic solutions with elastomer couplings or grease lubricated toothings generate additional maintenance effort. To avoid this, our servo motors are available in the performance line with an internal toothing that can be lubricated using a hydraulic oil circulation. That makes the mounting free of maintenance and keeps wear to a minimum. In this picture, um, we have the manufacturer Bucher. Is it possible to work with other manufacturers? Yes. Um, as shown here, we have our um, direct mounting uh, in two um, versions available. One is the advanced line, which is freeze lubrication, and one is um, a performance line, which is basically the solution with um, the oil circulation, uh, oil lubrication. And the advanced line is also um, available for other um, pump manufacturers, such as Freud or Bosch. But the performance line is only available with Bucher because here the um, hydraulic oil or the leakage oil of the pump um, is used for the lubricating the, um, of the toothing, and that's only possible with the Bucher pumps. Mm -hmm.
Philip, thank you very much for the interesting talk, for this much of information, very interesting information. It was my pleasure. Yeah, now let's move on to answering your questions. I'm looking to the chat. At the moment, I cannot see any questions from you. Please feel free to ask us. But we have um, collected in the last more than 10 years a lot of questions from the field, from our customers. Um, one of the questions can be, for example, how long has servo pump technology been used, be, been in use in the field at Baumiller? We started using the servo pump um, software 10 years ago, and we have successfully equipped um, injection molding machines as shown in the 3D model, um, but also hydraulic presses and bending machines. Mm -hmm. And in the um, lecture automated matching routines were mentioned. How are they, they started? Um, the identification routines are started by a flag from the machine control so that the uh, um, machine builder or the, the end customer ensures that the machine is available and that there is time to execute the identification routine. Is there also a possibility to realize a position control directly on the drive? Yes, we um, implemented position controllers um, or hydraulic position controls, but typically we are using here um, closed hydraulic systems. And here, um, our drive, the BMX 5000 family, um, offers the opportunity to read in a linear encoder directly on the drive so that the position control loop is closed inside the drive software. We have a question in the chat. Mm -hmm. The que question is, what was the biggest advantage of gear pumps? Noise and efficiency combination? What about max pressure and speed limitation? Okay. Um, the, the biggest advantage, um, as I um, said, is also um, the, low, the low inertia and the reduced pressure pulsation. Um, Especially the, the, the low pressure pulsation is one big benefit of the internal gear pumps. Um, but um, regarding the question about the maximum pressure, um, here we are a little bit typically. Of course, there are different pumps of different manufacturer and also the maximum pressure is varying um, or is different between the different manufacturers. But at internal gear pumps, we're typically a little bit lower than um, at piston pumps, for example, um, regarding um, considering the maximum pressure, but the um, maximum speed is typically higher because um, these pump series are optimized for the um, variable speed operation and also for high speed operation to deliver the same volume flow with a smaller pump size. Yeah, we have no further questions in the chat. We will give you some minutes to ask us the question. Oh, yes, the next question is uh, present. Is pressure flow control for cooling only possible on centrifugal pumps? The pressure flow for cooling, um, the, the, the thermal um, pump protection um, opens a bypass valve, so um, you can use every pump you want. It is only um, a digital output, which will um, di directly um, um, switch a valve or using a, um, um, a relay or something. And then um, there is only opened a hydraulic circuit. So um, it is totally independent of the pump type. Mm -hmm. Do you have any further questions? You have time, we have time use this time to ask us questions. But I have, an, I have an additional question from our question pool from the last years, from the feedback of our customers. Have you also already implemented an application with a servo motor and the control pump? And when yes, what are the advantages and disadvantages of this system compared to a servo hydraulic system? To make this point clear to our viewers, um, control pump uh, means a um, pump with um, um, variable displacement volume. And yes, um, we 
had, had such applications, but it was only individual applications, so no um, serial, um, yeah, serial solution, which is uh, have big, bigger amount of um, numbers. So um, it was more a, a retrofit. Um, this system has advantages in very long pressure holding times, and um, it has an advantage um, to have the possibility of controlling independent hydraulic circuits simultaneously. Um, at the servo pump, we usually do this um, um, in a in a row, so we have um, different actuators in a row. Um, but because of the complex pump system, um, this is more complex and so more expensive than the classic servo pump solution with the internal gear pump, which is a very simple pump design. Okay, thank you very much. I cannot see any other questions in the chat. In summary, servo hydraulics offers many advantages. These are the high energy efficiency, the compact design, and the low noise emission. In addition, Baumiller's innovative drive functions ensure significantly reduced service requirements and thus a reduction in service costs. In addition, these results, these results in higher productivity. If you have any further questions, please feel free to send us an email to marketing at baumiller.com. We will then answer your questions in the follow-up. Further interesting information on our webinar can be found on our website under Baumüller Insights, among others. This brings us to the end of our webinar. We hope that we were able to give you an interesting insight into this innovative drive solution from Baumüller. We hope to meet you again soon live at one of our future trade show booths. Thank you very much for your attention. At the end, with this, we say goodbye from Nuremberg. Goodbye and stay healthy.